Unemployment stood at 15.7% when the last labor force survey was conducted back in November. That has changed. Our officials at the Department of Statistics are now saying unemployment is down by more than 3%. Cleopatra Murphy tonight breaks down the numbers. Unemployment has hit its lowest in years, with figures falling to 12% nationwide. That's according to the latest labor force survey by the Department of Statistics released on Friday. The number is down significantly from the 15.7% unemployment recorded in November 2014. The survey that measures six months references April 27 to May 3, 2015. Director of Statistics Kelsey Dorsett says factors such as Bahamas Junkanoo Carnival, the IAAF World Relays, and Bahamar contributed to increased employment. There would have been many persons who would have been engaged in making costumes and doing other preparatory work. Now we are quite aware that some of those, for some of those persons, they were second jobs, but apparently for quite a, a good number of them, this would have been persons who were not employed at the time. The drop in unemployment comes despite a 1.4% increase in the labor force that totals 208,895 people compared to the previous 197,335. By island, unemployment on New Providence fell to 12%, on Grand Bahama, 12.9%, and on Abaco, 12.2%. Bearing in mind the special events, Dorset says unemployment could see an increase when the new survey is performed in November. Anytime you have a special event going on, you will find that there more people become employed or enter the labor force. If that level is not sustained, if another big event doesn't come along, it is likely that that can happen. Youth unemployment measured among 15 to 24-year-olds continued to be the highest at 25.3%, continuing a trend. It was a marked decline from the previous 31%. Statistician Cipriana Winters says discouraged workers also fell by 13%. These persons, according to the standard definition of the International Labor Organization, adhered to by the Bahamas and most countries, including those of the Caribbean, United States, and Canada are not considered unemployed as they did not meet the three criteria of unemployment, namely seeking work, willing to work, and able to work. Also of note, the survey revealed that manufacturing experienced the highest employment increase at 21%, while 13% of the labor force is made up of non-Bahamians. Cleopatra Murphy, ZNS Network News.